Hello everybody, welcome to another True Review. Today I'm bringing you on Epic on the Xbox One. It comes out on the 8th of January 2016 and is released by Enjoy Up Games. Now I went into this game with a little bit of hesitation because the two previous titles released by Enjoy Up Games have been a little bit iffy, shall we say. I've not really enjoyed them very much. But I'm pleased to say on Epic is an upward turn for the company. It's a really, really good game which I am enjoying an awful lot. You play as Daniel, who's a typical, a kind of stereotypical nerdy geek, into his video games, into his like cult movies, into D and D, in, with, in which we actually find him playing a game of D and D with his friends when we when we join him in the game. He gets a bit upset about something that happened in the game. The dungeon master sets a trap off on him, and he goes for a timeout. He goes to the bathroom to calm down. But while he's in the bathroom, he, uh, the lights go off, and when he when he manages to exit the room, he finds he's no longer in his friend's house anymore. For some reason, he's in a medieval castle, and he quickly bumps into a creature who he nicknames Zera, who tries to possess him and actually kill him. But for some reason, because he's a human, he's actually immune to the possession. So Zera becomes an unwilling companion of Daniel throughout his adventure. Now Zera is actually trying to kill you. So when he actually offers you words of wisdom, you have to decide if he's telling you the truth or not. Sometimes he is, sometimes he isn't, sometimes he's being misleading, like he'll tell you a weakness of a boss or, a, or something a boss is immune against and then it turns out it might not be. Uh, or things like saying that this is always safe or something and it's not. So it's quite a clever technique throughout the game. You have to make your mind up whether to trust him or not. Now the game plays out like a Metroidvania kind of game but in a pretty basic way where instead of killing bosses to acquire new skills and powers you actually just kill them to get keys to advance to new areas. Now the game is displayed in one of two ways. You can actually view it in a completely zoomed out view which basically shows everything on the screen. Or you can have a zoomed in view which will tighten the action into the hero and is more suited to the combat. The zoomed out feature really lets you view the entire screen and plan how you're going to tackle it. I mean you're normally best to zoom in and use the second view. The zoomed out view does have its advantages though because you can quickly see where you've got to go. It does make combat a little bit difficult though because the characters are probably not even a centimetre high when you're in the zoomed out view. But uh, both views are perfectly playable and both of them do certainly have the uses and probably when you're playing through in a game like I am you will use a combination of the two. Now graphically the game is pretty basic. It's each of the characters and the enemies are depicted really really well and the boss characters are nicely drawn also. The problem comes with the boss animations, there's not, not an awful lot of animation going on and the bosses seem to, I don't know if it's just me, but the bosses just didn't seem to fit in with the world at all that they was in. They looked like they were just kind of like cut out and placed into the world, but didn't detract from the game really that much to be honest with you. One thing I did really like about the game was the music. I think the music is one of the strong points of this game. Each of the areas, which does well over 10 to 15 areas, has its own musical track. And some of them are really, really good. I mean, one of them particular in the garden area reminded me of some of the classic Castlevania tunes that you get from the old 16 bits. And like on the PlayStation with Symphony, Symphony of the Night, really, really nice track in the uh, in the garden, especially. I've not encountered all the areas yet, so I'm hoping there is going to be some really good musical tracks to come up as well. Now, for any adventures as well, you can tell that this person has seen a lot of movies. There's a lot of characters who you will be striking familiar. There's a, a, a rip off of Yoda in there. There's a rip off of Admiral Akbar. References to Dune. The classic Dune with, uh, with the first boss being a giant worm. Um, there's also there's also references to even obscure cult Eddie Murphy films like The Golden Child, the bit where he's got to uh, recover the dagger and uh, use a glass of water to figure out how to get the dagger, and even some of the quotes saying that the show is the one's got a skinny ass or something like that. It's, it's, it's all in there. There's an awful lot of cult references so if you've been around a bit uh, like I have like, since the 80s and have seen a lot of movies and stuff you'll you'll pick up on the references and actually really appreciate them if you're a little bit younger some of it's going to go completely over your head to be honest with you but there's a lot of references there which did make me chuckle when I when I first heard them inventory management as always is important with the RPGs there's a hell of a lot of weapons there's swords axes maces pole axes 
bows and arrows, magic wands, there's uh, two different types of armour, um, there's tons of potions, scrolls, books, you name it, and it's handled quite well. You've got an extensive inventory, you can hot fix 12 abilities to buttons really really easily so you can switch between them and believe me you will be switching between them because you have to really use the correct kind of weapon against the against certain enemies like say skeleton needs a bludgeoning weapon to smash the bones up and things such as that poisonous enemies take them out from afar with your bow and arrow so it's just a case of trial and error learning learning what works there's a variety of shops as well which uh, give you loads of abilities and there's also pets as well which you can assign which uh, tend to help you throughout the quest the game's completely voice acted as well to various levels of success. Some of it's a bit cringe worthy, but some of it's actually rather decent. Achievement wise, it's going to be, I'd, uh, I say, based on my initial playing of the game, it's going to be a reasonable thousand points with a bit of a challenge. I would say it's probably going to need two playthroughs. A lot of the achievements are for just generally clearing the game. There's a couple of difficulty level based ones for killing certain bosses on certain difficulty levels and there is also challenges which unlock things called on epic points which are attached to each achievement as well. Probably a case of the challenges are best done in the easy mode and then play the game through separately on hard plus mode to wrap up the achievements and it's quite a big game as well I've got about 10 plus hours in it at the moment and I've still got probably about seven or eight areas still to actually discover so overall I'm really really pleased with an epic I'm actually surprised at it I thought it was gonna be a bit ropey but it's not it's really enjoyable and like I say if you are a certain age you will get more out of it with the cult references throughout the actual game itself so overall I'm going to give Unepic a 7 out of 10, really really enjoyable game, I'm definitely going to be playing this one long after this review goes up on YouTube and I suggest it's definitely worth checking out as well for the for the price that they're asking for it, I mean it's under £10 and it's definitely going to get your money's worth out of it, you're probably looking at your two playthroughs, you're probably looking at at least a 20 hour plus game there. So I hope you enjoyed that review guys, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and if you do want to follow me on my various social media pages that does help me build the channel and get these reviews to you as quickly as possible so thanks everybody for watching and i will catch you next time